There's a category of humans referred to as superagers. Superagers are people that defy the aging process, at least at the level of cognition. They maintain the volume of certain brain areas well into older age when their age match counterparts losing the same brain areas, meaning people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s have brain areas that are shrinking. Even in cases where people don't have Alzheimer's dementia, areas of the brain are shrinking. Superagers are people that maintain the healthy full volume of these brain areas. And indeed, in some cases, the volume, the size of these brain areas continues to increase into their later years. One of the brain areas that maintains or increases volume in these superagers is the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. And there aren't many other brain areas that do that. The anterior mid-cingulate cortex is the main site that can be tacked to this phenomenon of superaging. Now, superaging and superagers is a bit of a misnomer because what's happening in these people is they're not just holding on to the volume of their anterior mid-cingulate cortex, they're also maintaining healthy cognition, which is flexible strategy, context-dependent learning, their memory, their working memory. They're doing phenomenally well, not just for their age, but even compared to some much younger people. So these superagers are really interesting, both for sake of what they can do into their later years and because their anterior mid-cingulate cortex is holding on to its size and in some cases increasing its size.